Hey guys, and welcome to Big Hour Travel, where today we're going to be going through and reviewing the latest Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro movie, which is Killers of the Flower Moon. A three hour and twenty long flick, so yes, it does have a long duration, but with that being said, as we'll get into today... I did really enjoy it. I really enjoyed this film from the start. I really didn't have too many moments throughout the film that I was feeling bored or feeling sleepy. You know, I just, it was something that was in detail, it was in depth. And I really just carried that enjoyment throughout, as this was also based on a true story. So it did get you thinking like, wow, this is actually legitimate. To an extent, obviously, true story movies don't always portray the genuine events simply because obviously they want to make a movie out of it to make it even bigger and better you know what I'm saying so you know you take from it what you will but the Osage was a 1920s Native American tribe in Oklahoma in the United States of America and basically they came upon an enrichment of oil and oil obviously makes you incredibly wealthy we all know that oil is a very wealthy substance and they were able to come across a real embodiment of oil which skyrocketed their financial success. And from there, the Osage Native American tribe basically became targeted for that financial gain by white men at the time, trying to marry into the families and ultimately a systematic murders then came from that. Now, this review, guys, and from my reviews, I'm never going to spoil what happens. That is just simply the synopsis, right? It is a really in-detailed de movie that covers a, a stretch of time that genuinely existed and was the ultimate downfall, you know, and, and, and showed to me, and what I take from a movie, I always take something from a movie, right? I don't go to a movie and watch it and just kind of walk away like, oh, that was good. No, I take something from the movie, and this one really showed me that financial greed and financial power ultimately will be your downfall. So if you look at life and only think about money, you only think about... There's a quote throughout this movie like, I just love money, right? And it's just showing the emphasis on what the dollars basically bring to people's livelihood in a negative way. Not in a good way, in a negative way. In the way of, I will do anything for money, regardless of it killing my soul, or murdering other people, or just putting myself into a negative path. Money is the root of all evil, effectively. Right, so it's a really good movie in that aspect that it does teach you to understand and kind of take a step back from only looking at the financial riches of the world. Now, in regards to the movie itself, again, three hours and 20 minutes, so very long movie, very, very long movie. You know, I went into this movie thinking, oh man, I might feel sleepy at some point, I might feel tired, I might feel bored. But honestly, I didn't. I did not feel bored or tired at any stage of that movie. I thought that it was a long movie, but it wasn't a slow movie. And there are slow movies. Like, for me, Oppenheimer, incredible movie. Incredible movie. However, it was slow at points. I never really felt that slowness. And I think the reason why is because of the soundtrack in behind. I think the soundtrack of this film was really beneficial to kind of keeping it on pace. You feeling like a little irky, feeling like something's just around the corner. You know, you don't really know how to take a character, but you do, but you don't. But that's because the, the music is so profound. And the beats, the beats just get at you. It just really does get at you throughout the entirety of the film. So I really enjoyed listening to it. When there was a little bit of a beat behind, it was really keeping you on your toes and thinking, oh, maybe something else is about to happen next. Acting wise, you know what I'm going to say here. It is impeccable. You know, there is some serious candidates here for some big roles in the awards. <laughs> Truly, Leonardo DiCaprio, I've got the, the, the cast up here, and you just go through the names and you're just like, wow, this is what I just watched. This is what I watched. Leonardo DiCaprio was absolutely superb in this role. You really felt the role. And you also felt really uneven on whether the person's a bad guy or a good guy. You kind of, you sympathized, but you also realized, well, no. Lily Gladstone, I, I think, really needs to have an absolute push of 
how quality she was as Molly Burkhardt. It was such a quality performance of this character where you really sympathized with her, her family, and the ultimate, you know, destruction of the family that was going on there. Robert De Niro as William Hale. Spectacular. Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro in some of these scenes where they're, they're talking and just conversating, it, it's just, it's such a sight to behold. Like, it really is. It's, it's amazing to watch these two just conversating, really. That's how quality the style of actors are in this movie. Brendan Fraser didn't have a great deal of time in the film, but did do very, very well when he was on film. Can saddle me as Kelsey Morrison, fantastic. So like, I don't have a negative to say about literally anyone, and I think this was incredibly well directed by Martin Scorsese from the outset. The videography was great, the scenery was great, the feel, the setting, the sound, the acting, the directing, the storyline, the drive throughout, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. And if you want to go via the 5 out of 5 ratings, we can go 5 out of 5. This for me was a brilliantly directed movie and brilliantly constructed and brilliantly completed. This told a story, a true story, without completely embellishing it. It stuck along the lines well enough to understand and sympathize with, with the situation and the right actors were selected. And I never felt bored. So I will say, however, I do know that some people will find it boring at times. Some people will. But for mine, I didn't. I really didn't. I can understand why people who aren't into this kind of stuff might be like that, but I well and truly was into this and never felt bored. You know, so... I'm happy to give this a perfect rating. You definitely should see this film. Great everything. And we'll also tell you a bit of history. It's really good to see the cultural kind of aspect of Native American tribes because like from Australia, I really don't know much about Native Americans much at all, but you got to see a little bit of the culture in this film as well, which was great. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed my review. We'll be doing one every single Thursday. I want you guys to comment below what your thoughts are of the movie, if you have seen it, or if you haven't seen it yet, are you going to go watch it? Three hours, 20 minutes is a lot of time to set aside for it. It is. It's a lot of time to set aside for it. So, you know, I want you to comment below what your thoughts are. But I appreciate you. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you are new around here. And we will see you next time. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bing. See ya.